Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a new feature in Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin to start your podcast for free on WordPress and then connect it up to castos.com for proper podcast hosting. Uh, you can now customize the colors of the podcast player, a highly re requested feature of Seriously Simple Podcasting, and we plan to enhance this even a little bit further in the future, if you can believe it. You could always sort of break apart the player and customize it with CSS and HTML if you are a developer. But if you're not, now you can customize it right here in the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin options pages. First, let's just take a look at the standard default look of the player. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's this sort of standard Castos branding. And if you don't didn't already know, you could also change it to a light mode if we go into the podcast settings panel. Uh, by default, it's on dark mode. We can switch it to light mode. Go ahead and hit save on that. And then we'll refresh the home page here or the page that it's on. And you can see it's a lighter look and feel. Just two different modes to toggle, uh, toggle from. Now, there are also some other customizations below those those color pickers there, uh, where you can do different things. You can show the subscribe button, you can show the share button, or hide it uh, by unchecking those items, and then we'll do that and refresh it. And you'll notice that the subscribe and share buttons are no longer there. So there's already a pretty healthy amount of customization you can do to the structure uh, and look and feel, sans the colors, <laughs> up until this point. Now, if we scroll to the bottom of our podcast settings page, you can see that we can enable custom player colors. So we're gonna check that off, hit save settings. I was playing with this for a little bit, so the colors have been stripped out here, but we have all of the different colors that you can change um, within the player. So uh, I'm just gonna hit save settings. It's gonna be a pretty weird looking player once I hit save. Yeah, things start to disappear here because I was stripping some colors out. But the uh, the the two primary colors that most of you will be interested in is background color one and two. Uh, it sort of creates a transition or a gradient, if you will, between these two colors. Uh, I'm going to try to match this as best I can. I'm not a designer to this Casos Productions logo um, that uh, that we have here. If you don't know, Casos has a production side of the business. And I'm going to say that because we have uh, a nice branding site, tempo.castos.com, where we have all of the fonts, colors, and logos that we have throughout the business. Uh, and maybe you do as well. I'm going to pick from these colors here on the end just to see how they, uh, how they look. So I'm going to copy this, bring this back into background color number one, and then grab this other one. This might not look all that great in a gradient. I probably should use the ones in the same palette, but let's go ahead and hit save on that and then refresh. Um, not that good. <laughs> not, the, not the greatest, but you can see on how uh, the two color uh, items that I picked here, they sort of transition into one another here on the player. Now, you weren't able to do that before, and you can now, and that's really, really cool. So we can do other things like change the the player progress bar and the player button color, probably the, the two other most requested features. So if I just take a look at maybe this color as the play button, we'll change that up here, and we'll make it the same for the progress bar as well. Save those settings and then refresh. You can see it changes. We'll play this, we'll mute it just so it's not that loud, and we'll skip ahead, and there's the progress bar. So really cool stuff, uh, really easy to implement. And uh, you can, again, change this meta, uh, metadata if you want by enabling or disabling it in the background, play with the text colors, play with the rest of the colors. It's really easy with Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin here at Casto. So for those of you that are really heavily customizing your WordPress sites with branding and color, which a lot of you are, maybe using Elementor to build out pages and to really create an amazing looking podcast website, you now have the options to change the colors of Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. Fun stuff, awesome stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next video.